This is full and complex. Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the master taste of whiskey.com and today we have a very special old blended scotch whiskey here on my cask. It's a white and McKay, 30 years old, called the oldest. Well, it's not that cheap. It costs around, yeah, around 200 euros, dollars, pounds. And uh, it is produced by White and McKay, a well former Scottish company, and then management buyout, still Scotch, and then taken over by an Indian company, and then uh, well rebought by Diageo to a certain amount of shares. But one person always stays in place, and that's the master blender of White and McKay, and that's Richard Patterson. You might know him from several whiskey fairs and conventions, and his presentation style is, well, special. Uh, I sat together with him several nights at several locations, and, uh, well, he has a presentation mode and he has a normal discussion mode, and I prefer the normal discussion mode. Even the other thing is very funny. Yeah, whiskey is a serious thing. Don't joke about whiskey. And uh, this 30 years old, oldest from White and McKay, is yeah one of the very few blended whiskies with, with such a high age available on the market. So most of the well, the very, very old blended whiskies are gone. So this oldest 30 years is still there. There's another one, 22 years old. Um, how it's called? Superior? Something like this. And uh, it has a wonderful presentation with this golden print on it. The Lion's hefty card box. And if you open it, it's a impressive view you have on this bottle. Um, I think they do not sell so many of these bottles because uh, this is a card box telling it's 43% and inside it's a bottle with 40%. So I think they used up the old card boxes for this whiskey. Well, perhaps in dish management. No, I haven't said that. No. Okay. Um, <clears throat> what are they telling here on the bottle? 30 years old, it's a masterpiece. A blended whiskey is a work of art. Blending means you're putting together different malt whiskies and different grain whiskies and you create whiskey. Single malt whiskey is a selection process. You select casks with different tastes. So this is a, an art. The other thing is a selection. The, the art is nature, which produces the whiskey in the cask. And here it's the work of people. There is a master creating a masterpiece. It's only through time such a distinguished blend can be created. Well, it's not only man, it's also time. After 30 year, long years in the wood, only the finest malts and grains will be carefully selected in a manner which will complement each other in perfect harmony. If you create a blend, you've, at first you have to decide what kind of blend you create. An elegant, smooth one or a hefty, with a big expression. Then you have to go for the different malts. In the end, you have to mix them with grain whiskies, and you have to decide how many grain whisky you take and how many malt whiskies you take. And uh, from the sayings of Richard Patterson, I think in this one will be close to a half malt whisky. 
So the lighter blends, the younger blends, they have typically 15 to 20, max 25% malt whiskey. The rest is grains. And here the more expensive, the more valuable a whiskey is, a blended whiskey is, the more you add malt whiskies because that's the spice in the created blend. Um, once again, we call upon time to allow each individual whiskey to mingle and marry to form a lasting union. So this is called the marriage, where you select all the whiskies you want to have inside this blend, then you mix them together and then you rest. That's the marriage period. No, they are not divorced. No, uh, they are then perfected in harmony and uh, filled into the bottle. But in this case, uh, they have, I think, finished this marriage in Oloroso sherry casks. Finally, time is needed to appreciate this noble blend. After all, good things come to those who are prepared to wait. Never rush whiskey. Um, I think this is one of the very, very last blended whiskies with 30 years of age. I can't remember another one in the moment sold. Most of the old ones are malt whiskies, single malt whiskies. This is full and complex, what you quite rarely have with a malt whiskey. Malt whiskey have a, a focus on a particular characteristic. They are either sherry laden or they are stinky from peaty smoke or aromatic from peaty smoke. Uh, or they are strong, or they are gentle, and this one is complex. They are, it's full and rich on one side, but on the other side there are fresh fruits and ripe fruits as well. And there is there's malt in it, and of course the sherry. And this is Oloroso sherry, that means it's more fruity than sweet. And then there is vanilla, of course, and probably a little bit of cinnamon, yeah. And <clears throat> close to non oakiness. Yeah, there is oak, of course, but not that dominant, not this spiciness showing up. It's smooth and mellow, rich, complex. Yeah, with this first gulp, it was a little much, too much, or not too much. It was a, quite an amount of whiskey I had. I would have preferred three or six percent ABV more. That would give this whiskey more drive, more power. But I think if you're used to this whiskey for decades, then you want to have this whiskey as it was decades ago. So you decided to have this whiskey, you remember it long, long ago, and you're awaiting that the master blender did his job the right way as he had done it 20 years ago. And so this one has 40%. Full caramel, vanilla, no bitterness, and this smooth, silky oiliness from a good grain. There are grains out there maturing in Stone Age old casks which only deliver tannins and no caramel, not vanilla at all. And those grains are bitter and they are tearing the blends down. But this one is silky smooth. 
find in the aftertaste not too long middle smooth it's close to gone so this one is a easy drinking blended whiskey full and complex and expensive yeah With the second gulp, it's strong enough. I do not need 43 or 46 percent. No, aromas build up on each other, giving more and more volume in your mouth, and then it's really right. Yeah. Probably you should you should drink more of this bottle at a time. Sorry. Yeah. Thank you for watching. If you have questions please do so in my vlog on whiskey.com and stay tuned, there's more to